Hey guys, this is Manu Kalia, physical therapist and Ayurveda herbalist. So in this video, I'm going to talk to you guys about patellofemoral pain syndrome. Uh, a lot of you guys have asked me questions about this problem and how to treat it. So, and I've posted a bunch of videos in the past on treatment, um, but I wanted to uh, give you a little bit more detail uh, regarding this problem. Uh, so we're going to go over, uh, I'll go over some of the anatomy behind it and what are some of the contributing factors as well as uh, what are the pain generators or what structures or um, uh, what are the sources uh, uh, that are uh, causing the pain. Uh, and as I mentioned in some of the other videos, um, this is one of the, the most common uh, anterior or front knee pain problem in runners. Uh, of course, it affects cyclists and other athletes and even uh, people in sedentary population get affected by this problem. And I treat a lot of patients with this issue. So um, anytime something has a syndrome at the end of it, um, it usually implies that there's not one cause, one contributing factor. So there might be a host of things that are causing this issue. So that's why they call it patellofemoral pain syndrome. Uh, and it's, it's it, you know, there are uh, biomechanical issues, there are uh, anatomical issues, uh, as well as uh, training and uh, internally what's going on within the person. So all these things can be contributing to the problem also. So why don't we go over a little bit of the anatomy uh, and then we can uh, go into more of uh, some of the pain generators and some of the causes, right? Oh, by the way, before uh, I go into uh, more detail, I just want to give you guys an update and let you know uh, that our program that we're putting together in knee injuries is, uh, uh, will be coming up soon. And uh, so stay tuned and keep checking the channel. Uh, go check out the website uh, and I'm going to be posting more details on when the program launches. If you guys want to be added to the list to be one of the first to find out about the program, make sure you get to the website and uh, um, sign up for that. And I'll be uh, issuing about a, you know, a bunch of free copies initially too. So, uh, so if you guys are interested, make sure you get in there and check it out. All right, so uh, regarding patellofemoral pain. So first of all, um, looking at the knee here, give it a little bit of anatomy. The patellofemoral joint is your the joint that the kneecap makes with your femur, which is your thigh bone. Okay, uh, it is the uh, the kneecap sitting in the trochlear groove, which is that groove at the bottom that's created by the bottom part of your femur or your thigh. Bone. Okay, uh, and it, it it works on gli the kneecap works on gliding back and forth. So, uh, and to the top of the kneecap, you have your quadricep tendon, which is part of your quadricep muscle, your thigh muscle, and the bottom part is your patellar tendon, okay, which comes and attacks below the kneecap. So uh, it's the kneecap, the bone itself is helping uh, transfer all this force that's generated by your big muscles, your quadriceps, uh, to extend or straighten out that leg. Okay. Um, now this problem is commonly known as runner's knee. That's, that's one of the common terms that's used for it. Um, but the correct term is uh, runner's knee or anterior knee pain, which is basically front knee pain. So any kind of pain that's generating around this area is, uh, is called runner's knee pain or anterior knee pain. Right? There could be some other causes too, but we're discussing more of the uh, patellofemoral issues. Okay? So anything that's going to be essentially along this region, front of the knee, even down through here, uh, is going to be called, uh, is related to the patellofemoral pain. Occasionally, you will have patellofemoral joint referring pain to the back of the knee also, uh, but most common is anterior knee pain. Okay? Um, so some of the, the structures that can be causing the pain are uh, medial and lateral retinaculum, which is basically your uh, uh, fibers that are coming from your vastus medialis, which is your uh, inner quad muscle, vastus lateralis, the outer quad muscles, fibers coming off of that and attaching on the border of the kneecap on the outside border uh, here and the inside border. Okay, so a lot of those, if they're irritated, they can refer pain or cause pain. Okay, the synovial tissue, the tissue that covers the joint itself, if it's irritated, it can cause pain too. So any of the tissues that are um, surrounding this area or sitting underneath the kneecap, okay, you have your cartilage here too, you have your synovial tissue, which is the covering around the joint, okay, 
Um, you also have the subchondral bone, which is underneath the cartilage you have bone, if that's irritated. So that can also refer pain. So any of these structures, will, uh, if they're irritated, if they're uh, due to uh, compression, repetitive strain, uh, can cause, or an injury for that matter, can cause pain. Okay? Now, uh, this is a repetitive strain injury. So poor mechanics, right? uh, uh, too much loading of that joint, right? repetitive strain, so constant movement of that joint, whether I'm running or, or cycling, uh, can, can cause that area to get uh, irritated and, and set up a process where, where it's, it's so irritated that you can have pain with even day-to-day -day activities. And one of the classic signs is mentioned is movie gore sign. So if you sit for a while, and you're gonna you start having pain in that front of that knee, and you go to get up and it's irritated. Uh, once you run a bit, it tends to go away. And then uh, you know other activities like squatting, uh, going up and down stairs sometimes. Uh, definitely kneeling can be uh, can cause pain too. Running, uh, jumping, any of these things can be causing can cause problems and pain. So what are some of the uh, uh, reasons that are cited as uh, um, that, that cause this problem? So as I mentioned, biomechanical things are some of the uh, things you got to consider, which basically means that uh, what is the alignment of the, of the patellofemoral joint, right? Is the kneecap tilted uh, uh, to the outside? Is the, knee, is the alignment off the kneecap, right? Is it too hot? Is it is it uh, is it is it glide it not not only just tilted to the outside it, is it uh, gliding to the outside right um, or is it that uh, because of your the anatomy of your uh, tibiofemoral joint tibia and femur right uh, it throws off the anatomy of the kneecap maybe the groove is too shallow where the kneecap sits in right? maybe the hip is too tight further up in the chain. Uh, for women, a lot of times it's cited that there's a wider Q, uh, there's a larger Q angle, which is the width, so wider hips, which, which cause the uh, uh, alignment to be off between the thigh bone and, and the pelvis, and which results in uh, the kneecaps alignment being off. Uh, flat foot, right, or pro excessive pronation at the foot has also been cited as one of the reasons. So I don't think one specific thing is the, is the cause of the problem. Now, all these things combined can, yes, set up an environment which mechanically the kneecap is off alignment and cause more problems. Okay, so the flat foot, uh, flat feet combined with possibly uh, um, uh, excessive valgus, right, or, or, the, or, or the medial drift of the knee, where the kneecap, where the knees uh, drifting inwards, we can change the alignment of the kneecap, okay, uh, can contribute to that problem. So, as I said, not one thing, multiple things combined will often cause this thing to, uh, uh, combined with uh, repetitive strain will cause this problem to come back, okay. Uh, now, regarding treatment, you have to address all of those factors. I might have to address the foot mechanics, right? Am I missing my ankle range of motion? Am I missing my big toe range of motion, which is causing my foot to uh, go more into a flat foot position or the foot to drift out more, which is mechanically changing what's happening up the chain. For that matter, is my hip too tight or my glutes too weak, which is again causing my uh, knee to drift in more, my thigh to drift in, which is resulting in a change in mechanics. And this might not happen necessarily when you're just walking, but once you start doing a higher level activity like running or other athletic activities, once that muscle fatigues or some of the other muscles fatigue and you don't have enough stability in that pelvis and the leg starts to drift in, that's when you start having those problems coming about. Okay, so think about it from a much broader perspective. What's happening up the chain? Is my core strong enough? Am I able to maintain a good solid position? My hips strong enough? My, uh, same with your foot. Is, are my foot stabilizers, foot muscles strong enough to, for not only shock absorption, but controlling uh, the foot motion and mechanics? All right. So all these things can contribute to the issue. All right. so, so it, is a, it requires a bit more in terms of management 
uh, and management will be addressing those things by short mobilization techniques, by strengthening mobility exercises, right? also by hands-on cross-friction massage techniques to break down that scar tissue, improve the mobility of that kneecap is too stiff on the outside direction, I gotta make sure that kneecap's working better. Maybe making sure your the joint mechanics, you have full extension in that knee joint, so you have good range of motion in that, in the tibiofemoral joint, the main knee joint, so that there's less load on that kneecap too. So you have to consider all those factors when you're looking to address this problem. All right, so I hope you, this gives you a better understanding of what's happening at this joint. Some of the pain generators we discussed, such as the uh, medial lateral retinaculum fibers that are attaching on the inside and outside, the cartilage underneath it, the subchondral bone, bone underneath the cartilage. The cartilage is worn out, there's more irritation. So try to consider all those variables when, you, when you're thinking about treatment. And I will be posting more videos on treatment. But I wanted to give you a much better understanding of what's really going on and what is the area we're talking about in terms of the problem. Okay, this gives you a global and better understanding of the issue. Uh, and then uh, we'll do specific treatments to address the problem. Okay, uh, so as I mentioned, uh, stay tuned. Uh, and keep checking on our program is coming up and we're gonna be launching very soon. So uh, make sure if you wanna be one of those people who wants to find out early, uh, get onto the site and uh, sign up so I can let you guys know. As I mentioned, I'll be issuing out some free copies. So uh, see if you wanna sign up for it. All right guys, uh, take care and uh, we'll be posting more videos for you guys. And make sure you subscribe to the channel and uh, share the video if you found this helpful. Thank you.